Hello guys. Okay, these are all defective blocks, uh, latch bolts of uh, many kinds, and uh, I never seen in YouTube how to repair this kind of uh, parts. This is a major part of a lock set, no block, which uh, once it is damaged, you cannot find this anywhere in the store. Uh, they will sell you uh, the whole uh, unit of the lock, not a lot bolt alone. So, I will show you in a different uh, situation on whatever problem it has how to repair this latch bolt and how to disassemble them there are some which really cannot be repaired and really it's totally damaged but in some cases there are that can be repaired so we will cover the a year latch bolt a commercially type latch bolt which is eco or BOP, uh, Weiser latch bolt, and uh, others, which is uh, I found of different brands. Like uh, maybe if you can find some other brands which is damaged, I will show you how to repair it. But first, I will show you how to disassemble it. That's the most important thing in order to repair it. Uh, uh, reassemble it back because this kind of latch bolt has a uh, once uh, uh, expansion to click this uh, other part so okay okay folks so it's workshop time okay folks our subject latch bolt for uh, uh, tutorial is this uh, why sir uh, the problem with this is it has the ear yeah but it is not coming in so we'll try to check repair and investigate what is the problem so first we should do is open it up from this side here insert a screwdriver and then So, I think we have to replace this anyway. This is not this very bad already. So, we'll replace that one. We have a lot of spare. Yeah, I have here. <coughs> okay. Now, in repairing this uh, latch bolt, yeah, uh, for a uh, new locksmith uh, who is not uh, very much familiar with this latch bolt, when you open it up, be careful and try to determine which parts come first and which part come last, come last and what is their position inside so okay let's take this first out next try to do it upside down <clears throat> and then slowly bring the housing out alright so alright so that means this is how it is positioned this comes here all right and next this comes at the bottom so this is the bottom this is the second all right and the spring the guide another spring and the position of this anti-prying mechanism the flat face is on the surface here right so the plastic washer should be this is out and this is in so try to remember that and that one 
and this so you see that that is the, the one that guides coming in and out here all right so the, the problem which i saw is this is a little bit bent that might be the cause of the problem so let's try first and make it straight You know, buying these parts is uh, too difficult alone without a uh, uh, the whole lock itself. So it's better to repair it. Okay. So okay, try to figure out if it is bent. Okay, I think that's fine. Now. Try to find this out if it is bent, that is okay. So the position will be like that, right? And this thing will be at the bottom, like this, right? That is sliding there. Now, why it was stacking up? Uh, we see the inside, uh, there is a uh, two post there, right? See that? And also, I had noticed, you see, that there is a very thick and dry uh, grease from the inside. So, we will clean that up also. Alright, so the ear is alright and also the locking part. This, be careful with this one because this is important also, this small part here. Okay, so... Let's try and clean it up. try and put some grease in it not too much because later on when it becomes dry it also will get stuck okay Now it's reassembly time. Okay. First, we will be first this one. As we have seen that come out uh, last, alright? So you have to insert it this way, right? So the two holes which I, I have shown you, uh, these holes will go into it. Alright. Okay. Now, next one will be this. Alright. Now, in, you have to insert it the other way around. Upside down, right? As you can remember, if you insert it like this, this is upright position and this side is on the opposite decision position okay <clears throat> okay now when you insert this in the upside position the next one will be on the downside position and this uh, a flat face there the wide one will be on that opposite side all right now it goes there next that 
we should determine this little thing here because that is important that is where this goes into that slot here this side it will go like this here right so we will mark that that it will be on that side at the bottom all right so that means that side he will go like this because he is on that side so this side will be on that part here right so that we determined it now next we'll insert this first this is as i said this goes like this okay and this side will be on that side so it will go like that right so that means the guide this guide will be on the opposite side of this so that means we will install it on the other side there all right next we will install this right with spring right so means it will be coming on this part here okay now that is look like this so after that we hold it to put it in place we hold it right so that it will not come out next we will put the spring on the other side all right now this thing and this thing will go like this see that that is the slot there on the top in which it will coincide with this side here so it we will install it like this All right, hold it firmly and insert this. Okay, now depress this. Hold that bolt, depress it. Okay, once it is depressed, now you see this. See that? So it's coincide with the slot there, and you'll have to press that down to lock from here. Press it with uh, something uh, small. Alright, let's press this with a screwdriver. Be careful not to break it, that is very important. Right now it's locking. Now, before you close it, try to check the anti prying mechanism. You have to depress this and try to depress this too while this is depressed. That means the prying anti prying mechanism is working, right? So that's that's fine. Now, make a final touch on that, bring it fully down. Okay, now here it is. They have a pusher for this uh, part here, small one. It's just fabricated. Now flip this up. To hold these two things in place. Right. Now, it's time for closing it up. Repair this a little bit.
all right i think that's fine let's put this on the side here and uh plastic also and uh over Okay, folks, so that is how it is. Let's try and put some finishing touches in it. Looking fine now. The final test when you depress it, this is the anti prime. This should not uh, go in fully, and that's right, it's locked. This is an anti prime mechanism okay but when it's not uh, depressed they will go together okay so we'll try it with the lock it is working all right okay so it's leaning quite well yeah so that's that is how to repair this kind of flat board y set type okay folks so thanks for watching and the next uh, uh, video will be on the yellow right